So if this is true, what's the next move? Hi, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Laron and I'm back with another video. You see the thumbnail, you see what this video is about, but before we get into this video, I want to say what's up to my subscribers. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you are new, please consider hit subscribe because on this channel, I do thought before videos such as this one. I do black on reviews once a month and I do reaction videos. And so if you're into those type of videos, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and please like and share this content for the algorithm because you know, once we get that Steady grind, we gotta just keep going up, right? Uber, Uber is under backlash right now. Like, what? Uber, what are Uber doing? So, Uber under the backlash because there was a picture that came out on Twitter, and it was a picture of a white hand and a black hand. And on the white hand, the Uber fare was a lot cheaper than it was on the black hand. Both going to the same location, obviously, both in the same space, they both got two different prices. And it wasn't like a it wasn't like a you know like a two dollar difference three dollar difference no it was a drastic difference so on the black hand for a regular uber x to this location was 57 dollars and 80 cents right then on the white hand it was 32 dollars and 58 cents so that's a 25 dollar difference between two different people and they pulled it up and it wasn't that far it was both a seven minute drive but it was a 25 dollar difference you know this picture is damaging i ain't gonna lie this picture is damaging to uber but I can't really speak to this because I never had the experience. But there were other people on Twitter that seen this picture and they were replying that said they had the same experience, not only with Uber, with Lyft as well and Airbnb, saying that this is something not new. This is an old thing. Like people really go through this. They have to just they post their things up, you know, they they get a ride and the ride difference is different in price according to race. And Uber came out with a reasoning. Or an excuse whatever you want to call it a reason or excuse but the reason it was you know it was surcharges so surcharges change in real time so they're saying that yeah your seven minute ride could be 52 dollars maybe they stay applying like maybe she looked it up first right then when the other person looked it up i can't tell it was a man or a woman i don't want you know maybe mess up the pronouns but they said that now that other person looked it up and when they looked it up it was a drop because the surcharges went down i mean i've seen uber surcharges and you know seeing different fares at different times for different reasons i get that for it to drop that drastic that drastic like say say this person looked it up just give you a scenario say this person looked it up they're like damn it's pretty high they're like all right let me see how i look at my phone how long would that take for another person to pull up an address on uber what say it's 90 seconds so you're trying to tell me it's a 90 second surcharge drop for 25 dollars you know that sounds kind of fishy that sounds kind of fishy who knows you know i'm not going to say that this person is lying or I'm not going to say that Uber is lying about the surcharge thing because there's a lot of different variables in it and I really can't speak on it so you know just give you another variable what if this person just wanted to go viral and they pull something up then they just screenshot it and say okay this is how much this costs now and they wait half an hour and they do it again and now it's a different price so I don't know if that's the case either right you have to play devil's advocate it could be that so you never know what people motives are I'm not saying that these people are trying to become viral or whatever but people do things and become more popular right so it could be that as well but like i said there were other people on the thread saying the same thing like this is not new i've seen this before me personally i can't speak on it you know only time i really use uber is if i'm traveling like said i go to an airport and i don't have a car to drop off or like say when i went to puerto rico it was cheaper for me to get an uber than it was me for getting a rental because i was just ubering everywhere and it was a lot cheaper so it was cheaper for me to do that right and plus i can't speak to it too because when i do be around people of other races i usually drive or if we do an airbnb i don't do airbnb so like i won't get an airbnb with other people of other races i'll just get a marriott you know i'll stay at marriott so that's my thing i like to stay at a marriott so i'll stay at a hotel and if they stay in that hotel usually the price is just about the same it's, it's not identical like the price is identical so it's not like no crazy surcharges or nothing like that. You know, that's the thing, man. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if it's a thing or not. I'm not going to say it is. I'm not going to say it's not. But I'm saying that this is a bad look for Uber. And what I think is going to come out for this, I think Uber is going to do one of two things. One, I think Uber is going to let it blow over and people won't forget about it because we do have short attention spans. So once it's blow over, it's a wrap. You're going to leave it be. Or I think it's going to be Uber going to go on a crazy apology tour and just want to be you know, super duper woke and be like, all right, we gotta just 
cover this up and make sure this look good. You know what I'm saying? It could be one of those two things. But leave in the comments, man, what y'all think is going to happen? What y'all think is going to be the super duper woke apology tour? Or you think Uber just going to let it blow over? I think Uber just going to let it blow over and people are going to forget about it anyway. But also leave in the comments, let me know if you guys experienced something like this. If you've been out with other races, because I can't speak to it myself because, like I said, I don't I don't really do Ubers too tough unless it's like emergency for me to have to go somewhere and I just needed a ride and I just got to get dropped off like at an airport or something like that or if I'm just traveling you know what I'm saying but a lot of times when I'm with other races I just have my own car we all have our own cars and if we do travel we in hotels not in Airbnbs but if you do see that leave it in the comments man let me know if that's the thing too you know what I'm saying because it could happen it could happen it could be real and it is if it is real if we do come to that conclusion somehow some way what are we going to do next how are we going to combat this how are we going to boycott this because a lot of people do rely on these type of ride shares to survive and to go place to place it's easier for them to use that than it is for them to use a car you know what i'm saying depending on where you live and how you live but let me know man leave something in the comments man let's have a conversation in the comments and i thank you for your time and i appreciate it all right till next time peace